Hi, I'm Jay Diener, 206 Woodland Road. I'm here as the chair of the Conservation Commission. I want to respond to some comments that Selectman Griffin made um, at last week's meeting uh, regarding the commission and our conservation coordinator. In an effort to get some information, um, he made some vague but potentially significant charges against the conservation coordinator regarding the way she is doing her job. Um, and I understand that he was being somewhat vague in an effort to be respectful of the people who he had spoken with. Um, but I also wish that he had respected the conservation coordinator by sitting down with her and letting her know what he had been hearing and giving her an opportunity to respond, um, which may have avoided this whole issue of having to go public with it. Um, I don't think the way it was handled with all we do respect, I know Rick and, and we talk a lot, but I don't think it was right and I don't think it was fair. Um, my second point is that uh, he also said that we're not professionals on the Conservation Commission. And that's true, we're not. Um, however, you might be interested to know that some of our members do have related degrees and some of our members through their careers do have related experience. And in that respect, I don't think we are any different than the Budget Committee, than the Zoning Board of Adjustment, than the Planning Board, or even, dare I say, the um, Board of Selectmen. Um, we will, upon occasion, when it's appropriate, bring in independent experts to confirm that um, concerns that we have, for example, about a wetland delineation for a significant project are, are well-founded concerns. So we don't just rely on ex our expertise, we bring in other people when, when needed. We also serve at the pleasure we do of the Board of Selectmen because we're appointed by the Board of Selectmen for three-year terms, just as the other boards and the Board of Selectmen are, if you will, appointed by the voters for three-year terms. So if somebody is unhappy with the way we're doing our jobs, there is recourse. Uh, our terms don't have to be renewed. The voters don't have to um, vote for any candidate on any board or commission for another term. Um, Thirdly, um, our job, as is everybody's job, is, is to work to enforce the ordinances that were passed by the voters at a variety of town meetings over the years. And we try to do this to the best of our ability. Um, in our case, the ordinances that we're dealing with have to, deal, have to do with the protection of our natural resources, mm -hmm. the protection of our water resources, uh, wildlife habitat, wildlife um, nurseries, as well as providing open space for recreation for all of the town residents. People come to us with wetland permit applications and we work with them to the best of our ability to try to find ways within the specifications of our ordinances to let them do what they want to do on their properties. Um, and in some cases what we try to do is, is help them to rework their projects so they're minimizing the impacts of those projects. In some cases, we work with them to try to find mitigation that will help to offset those impacts. So we really do try hard to work with people to, to allow them to do what they want to do and still respect the ordinances that are, are what we are charged with protecting in this town. We're not always able to do that. There are some cases where the impacts are so significant and we feel so damaging that we have to recommend that that permit not be issued. But even in those cases, we make it clear that we don't have the final say. We are an advisory board to the planning board. Um, it is the planning board that issues wetlands permits. And we tell people they always have the opportunity, even if they don't like what we say, to go to the planning board and to appeal to the planning board and try to get a different resolution. So, so we're not the final arbiter here. All that being said, we, as does everybody else, every other board and commission in Hampton, try to do our job and try to treat people with respect and with integrity and with fairness. And I think that applies to everybody on the Conservation Commission, and I think it applies especially to the Conservation Coordinator. Um, if there are people who are unhappy with the way we're doing our job, with the way I'm doing my job, with the way the Conservation Coordinator is doing her job, my office number is 603-758-1177. Call me. I'll be happy to talk to anybody. I'll be happy to listen. 
I'll be happy to do what I can to resolve any issues that come up. If you're unhappy with me, talk to the town manager. There is always a recourse. But let's treat people with fairness, respect, and integrity. Thank you very much. Thank you. And because he brought my name up, I stand by every single thing I said. I talked to Jay for over an hour probably in the last week. He can I told him he needs to make sure that his phone number is that people can see it. He talked to the woman that I had that had the complaint and he went a long way into helping her, but I do stand by what I had said and I could say a lot more. Okay.